Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. And today's lecture will going to be a quick one and most probably the last lecture in our Unix shell scripting series. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss in detail about user administration in Unix. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there are majorly three types of accounts on the Unix system. The first one is a root account, system accounts and user accounts. So the first one is root account. So this is also called as a super user and would have complete and unfettered control of the system. So a super user can run any commands without any restrictions. So it has all the privileges to run all the commands in your Unix system. And this user should be assumed as a system administrator. The next one would be system account. So the system account are those needed for the operation of system specific components, for example, mail accounts and the SSHD account. So these accounts are usually needed for some specific function on your system and any modification to them could adversely affect the system. And the last one is user account. So the user accounts will provide us the interactive access to the Unix system for users and group of users. So general users are typically assigned to these accounts and usually have some limited access to some critical system files and directories for which only root account or we can say super user will have access. So Unix supports a concept of group account which logically groups a number of accounts. So every accounts would be a part of another group account and a Unix group plays a very important role in handling the file permissions and process management. So what are the file permissions and how to add or remove the file permissions that we have already seen in our previous lectures. So if you want to refer that just click on our full Unix playlist that I have listed in the description below. So the next topic is managing users and groups. So there are four main user administration files. These are given here, which is password, shadow, group and gshadow. So we will discuss this one by one. The first one is a password, which is represented as given here. So this password files will keep the user account and password information. So it is very sensitive and very important information that only the root account can have access to. So this file holds the majority of information about the accounts on our Unix system. The next one is a shadow which holds the encrypted passwords of the corresponding account. So not all the systems support this file that you have to make a note of. The next one is a group which contains the group information for each account and the G shadow will contain the secure group account information. So you can check all these files using the cat command to get the more details about the contents within those files. So here I have given the list of commands which are available on your Unix system for creating and managing the accounts and group. So the first one is a user add. So this command will use for adding the account to our system. The user mod will modify the account attributes. The user del will delete the account from the system. The group add will be used for adding the group. And similarly, group mod and group del will be used for modifying and deleting the groups from our system respectively. So you can use the man page help for checking the complete syntax of the each command, which I have mentioned in this table here. So you will get clear idea about the syntax, some examples and how to use that command more effectively. So if you want to get more information about the man page help, we have the dedicated video for it that you can access from our Unix playlist. Our next topic is how to create a group. So we will now understand how to create a group. So for this, we need to create groups before creating any account. Otherwise we can make use of the existing group in our system. So we have all the group listed in the etc slash groups file. So for getting more information, just apply the cat command to get all the details present in that file. So all the default groups are the system specific groups and it is not recommended to use them for ordinary accounts. So here I have given the syntax 
for creating a new group account so this is the syntax that you have to refer for creating a new group and here are the options and the descriptions that i have given so the first one is a hyphen ggid which represents the numerical value of the group's id the hyphen o will permits to add the group with non unique gid the hyphen r will instruct the group add to add the system account and this hyphen f causes to just exit with the success status if the specified group is already exist the group name is nothing but the actual group name to be created so if you do not specify any parameter then the system makes use of the default values so now we will see how to modify and delete the group so for modifying the group i have given the syntax here for that you have to just use the group mod command so for this just give group mod hyphen n after that you have to give the new group name and and space and after that you have to give the old group name for it so this is how you can modify the group the next one is how to delete a group so it is very simple procedure just use the group del command and give the group name that you want to delete from your unix system and our next topic is how to create an account so for creating an account this is the following syntax that i have given here and there are the following different options that you can use for applying more filters on your command so for creating the account you have to use user add command after that you can use the options or we can say the parameters and after that you have to give the account name that you want to create in your unique system so let's talk about the different options and their description so these are all the different options and the descriptions for creating the account so the first one is hyphen d home dir which specifies the home directory for the account the hyphen g group name will specify the group account for this account the hyphen m will create the home directory if it doesn't exist already the hyphen s shell will specify the default shell for this account the hyphen u user id by using this we can specify a user id for this account and the account name will have the actual account name to be created so these are all the options you can use and incorporate in your create account command so if you do not specify any parameter then the system makes use of the default values so the user add command will modifies the password shadow and group files that we have seen earlier and creates a home directory and the last topic of our today's lecture is how to modify and delete an account so for modifying the account you have to use the user mod command which will enable us to make changes to the existing account from the command line so for this just use the user mod command for which the syntax that i have given here and the last one is deleting an account so deleting is pretty straight forward so the user del command will be used for deleting the existing user but this is a very dangerous command if not used with the caution so you have to make sure that you are using this command only whenever required so there is only one argument or the option which is available for this command that i have given here which is hyphen r for removing the accounts home directory and the mail file but if you want to keep the home directory for backup purposes then you can remove the hyphen r option from this syntax and you can remove the home directory as needed at later of time if you don't require it so this was all about some basic idea of user administration in unix system in which we have seen the major three types of accounts such as root account system account and user account with their descriptions also we have seen the main user administration files and then we have seen how to create a group with their different options and their descriptions also we have seen how to modify and delete a group after that we have seen how to create a account and similarly at last we have seen how to modify and delete an account with their different options so i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching